Hi, thanks for joining me today. Um, in our list of tiny tutorials, this week we're going to cover a little bit about Google Chrome. Uh, one of the great things that you have and having a Google Apps for Education account or a free account for that matter is that when you log into your Google account using Google Chrome it opens up a whole world of additional apps that become part of your browser and we're going to take a look at that and explore it real quickly here uh, if you go to the top of the page once you log into Google um, you'll see at the top right you'll see your login and your account but at the top left of the browser window you'll see a little menu to show apps that are tied to your account when I click on apps I can see that there's a list of the standard things like the web store Google Docs Google Drive and some others and if you click on web store it takes you to a place where you can browse through featured apps that can be added to that account and there's tons of different things in here And as far as a classroom teacher is concerned there's a lot of productivity apps that can be used for educational purposes um, I won't take the time to browse through all of these but if, just do, if you just do a quick scroll through you'll see that there's tons of different things here that will be beneficial to you in creating documents for the classroom or maybe even just reviewing material that you might be covering in your class one that comes to mind is Socrative uh, Socrative is actually one of those online web apps that you can use in place of clickers a lot of teachers have purchased clickers to use as a student response system in class and they cost quite a bit of money but when you use Socrative as a free app on an iPad or on a cell phone students can answer questions for tests and quizzes in your class and it's all free well Socrative actually has an app that you can add to your Chrome browser and that makes everything just a little bit easier if you're using something like Chromebooks in a classroom all you have to do to add this app to your Google Chrome account is to click on the button at the top where it says free and then it says add Socrative and I click add and then it goes back and it reloads my page and you see it's popped up right there in the list of my other apps if you do another quick browse through though you see that there's tons of different things here and it just the list is being added to every day uh, there's flashcards coloring pages uh, if you go back up the list here one of the others that I noticed uh, was Nearpod. Nearpod is very similar to Socrative in terms of uh, delivering questions and there's the 3D solar system simulator lots of great things here additionally you'll notice that there are some other things called extensions now extensions are in addition to the Chrome apps that we have loaded here extensions are little add-ons that show up just to the right of your address line and allow you to do some similar things to some of the apps but uh, well to give you an example here's one I have one that's called tab resize and if I have multiple tabs open if I just click on this it allows me to resize my tabs side by side without having to do the resizing myself it automatically does it for me and I can do it in whatever type of layout I want a horizontal or a vertical layout and if I click on it I don't I only have one tab open right now but if I clicked on it when there were two tabs open it would have done that for me and the way you get these again is you just go to the extensions section and you look up the the extension that you want here I'm going to type in tab resize and uh, here it is right here tab resize split screen layouts and I've already got it so it's asking me to rate it but if I'd wanted it I'd just click free and then it shows up at the top right of my screen and then finally uh, going back to the Chrome Web Store one of the other things that you uh, may have noticed on my tab was that I had this fancy background theme here and if you scroll to the bottom and click on themes you'll see a list of different themes that have been created by Google but others that have also been created by users like you and you can add those themes to just add a little bit of you know personality to your Chrome web browser well that's it for now if you have any questions feel free to watch this video again or check any of our other tiny tutorials available on YouTube